Welcome to the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to create a DOT random pool. During the tutorial, I will refer to the Employer Solutions Portal as ESP. We will begin by logging into ESP. At the login page, enter your username and password and click the secure sign in button. After successful login, you will see the dashboard for your organization. If permissions are enabled, you will see the randoms menu on the left navigation. Select randoms to navigate to the pool summary page. All random pools created in your organization will appear in the pool summary grid. To create a new pool, select the add pool button at the top right corner of the page. All required fields on the Add Pool page are indicated by a red asterisk. Enter a unique name for this DOT pool in the Pool Name field. In the DOT Regulated field, ensure that the Yes Radio button is selected. Use the drop-down list to select the appropriate DOT agency in the Modality field. Only one modality per DOT regulated pool is allowed. Use the drop-down list to select the selection interval. For DOT regulated random pools, the Department of Transportation recommends testing at least quarterly. Based on the modality selected, ESP will default the selection rate field to annual percentage and will insert the minimum requirements for drug and alcohol targets. Targets may be increased, but may not be decreased. The Program Start Date field will default to the current date. This field may be changed to a later date to start the random selection for this pool in the future, but may not be changed to a past date. The Program End Date will default to the last day of the current year. This field may be changed to an earlier date to end the random selection for this pool earlier than the end of the year, but may not be changed to a date in the next calendar year. ESP will not allow DOT regulated random pools to roll across a calendar year. If random tests were completed for this pool in another application prior to ESP, enter the number of drug and or alcohol tests completed in the following fields. If a random pool program start date is later than the first day of the calendar year, these fields will be required. Zero is an acceptable entry if no testing was completed for this pool prior to its creation in ESP. Number of periods run is not a required field and is purely informational for you. The DOT regulated accounts available to the user are presented in the available account selection box. Select the checkbox next to the account that will be used for this pool and click the double greater than button to move the account to the selected account box. Only a single laboratory testing account can be associated with a random pool. The order code or codes associated with the account selected is presented in the order code section. Select the radio button for the order code that will be used for testing when members are selected in this random pool. Select the Save button to save the pool and return to the pool summary grid. The newly created pool will now appear on the grid. Select the plus sign next to the pool name to expand the pool and begin managing your DOT random program. This completes this Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial.